Welcome back. Well, the new government in Italy already marking 100 days in office from an economic standpoint to a stance on immigration. The parallels to the Trump administration are piling up as well. Joining me right now to talk about Italy, the EU, and its relationship with the U.S. is the former Prime Minister of Italy, Prime Minister Mario Monti. Mr. Prime Minister, it's good to see you again. My pleasure. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. What's your take on how Italy is doing right now in terms of the economic policies and that drive toward growth once again? This is a government of rupture composed of two populist parties, the League, which is more on the right wing, and the Five Star Movement, which is more uh, a new form of populism. Uh, the rupture consists mainly in two things. One, they want a new relationship with the European Union, which I'm afraid they don't understand yet very well in its functioning and in its uh, huge uh, positive impact on each member state. And then they would like to behave a bit as if the budget constraint, fiscal discipline, was not there. Of course, these are two important points of friction with the rest of Europe and with the Italian economy. Yeah. Uh, the jury is out. Um, I myself um, in the Senate uh, um, abstained on the confidence vote because I think it is fair to give them a chance and also with a rather um, um, sclerotic capitalist system as we have in Italy with a few exceptions. It's good also to have a new force forcing some change but the point is that so far the, they have not done much they have been divided between the two parties and they have put up more ambitious challenges and huge promises which would bring any financial balance down for Italy with major problems for the markets and for Europe. And of course a problem for the market would be if you actually do see an upset to the budget with so much spending. Yes. So tell us where the issues are. Is it the spending issue or is it a flat tax? Italy's 15 percent flat tax is being talked about. This is something completely new and different than we haven't seen in Italy before. Exactly. And uh, in uh, Italy, tax evasion, in spite of the progress of the last several years, is still high. And uh, um, I personally believe it would be better to concentrate on further effort to bring down tax evasion rather than in making this opening. Having said that, the overall tax pressure in Italy is high. It needs to be brought down, but more uh, through cutting expenditures first. And there they have no idea on how to proceed. Nevertheless, I don't want to be too pessimistic. Yesterday there was for the first time a meeting of the leadership of the League as a component of the government under Mr. Salvini. Uh, apparently they came up with a rather moderate proposal that they want to start all these reforms, the flat tax, the citizens' income, but uh, for the first time they said we need uh, for the time at least to stick with the budgetary uh, constraints set by the EU. Over time do you think a flat tax, lower taxes in, in Italy, even though we know that you know you, you got to get the Italians to pay taxes, but I mean lower taxes, will that bring in businesses to create jobs in Italy in your view? Uh, other things being equal, yes, but uh, uh, with a flat tax, I believe that one major problem would not be assailed, that is the huge inequality of income and wealth, which is there throughout the world, right, sure. but in Italy particularly so. And uh, so I do not believe that uh, the, the overall climate in the country and in the society would be facilitated by this uh, measure to further reduce the progressivity rate of the tax system. Mr. Prime Minister, tell us what else is going on in terms of borders, because I know that the Italian populists are driving the EU to tighten up and toughen policies on migration. Angela Merkel under fire uh, because of open borders in Germany. What has been the impact of the borders uh, and, and the changes there? The number of immigrants uh, into Italy uh, has been declining relative to one year ago and is small relative to other EU countries. Nevertheless, according to recent polls, Italians believe that the size of immigration is fourfold 
relative to its real wow. size. So huge uh, psychological and political concerns. Uh, therefore, this is a primary call made by the new government on Europe to become tougher on immigration and at the same time to redeploy and, uh, to other member states uh, those part of those flows of refugees which naturally, because of geographical reasons, come into Italy. The problem is that maybe because of their little knowledge about how the EU works, there is a total inconsistency there because, for example, Hungary under Prime Minister Orban is a country which uh, took uh, nobody in terms of its share uh, of, of refugees uh, and it would like Hungary, the EU, to have even smaller powers to force others to participate in this. Uh, what did Mr. Salvini, who is interior minister, or, uh, plus deputy prime minister, well, he picked uh, Mr. Orban as his chief ally in internal diplomatic uh, uh, negotiations within Europe, which mm. is totally inconsistent.